I'm going back to the beginning. Exciting news for The Last Kingdom fans. Netflix has confirmed the historical drama is returning for a fifth and final season. The end is nigh for Uhtred of Bebenberg, as filming has wrapped, which promises to bring the show to an epic conclusion. This announcement comes with bated breath from fans after the rumors swirling the series was getting the axe. Set in the late 9th and early 10th century, the show focuses on the bloody Saxon and Danes battle for control of England. Season 4 ends with a shaky truce between the two sides, but as most fans could have guessed, it's almost guarantee that this won't last. What will this mean for the future of the country and for our beloved Uhtred? All in all, the season 4 finale has excited our appetites and set up the possibility of a riveting conclusion to Uhtred's story. Before we begin, here's a quick recap. We were certainly sent through the ringer throughout The Last Kingdom Season 4. Some of our favorite characters died, while some of the most annoying ones managed to make it out alive. Uhtred reached the end of the season almost accepting that his rightful home was gone. Mercia and Wessex are joined and everyone seems to have gone back Back to a normal life for now. Edward rules from Winchester's while Ethelfled is Lady of Mercia. Brita also survived despite warning Uhtred that she would be back for him if he allowed her to live. Uhtred, because he's a stand-up guy, wouldn't kill her, especially considering she was pregnant. With Sigtrigger gone north, it leaves most of England free from the Danes for now. There's peace to come, hopefully. Although, it's not certain what's happening in Wales after the Danes left there to take Winchester. It's also not clear if the Scots are still trying to take Bevenberg. That's for possible this season. With this exciting news of the fifth season, this means we will be introduced to some new characters. Today, we're looking at the new talent joining their ranks and learning more about their characters. So let's take a deep dive into the Viking world of 9th century England and meet these brave new faces. Sure to shake up the scene. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. And warning, spoilers ahead, you have been warned, let's get into it. First, let's meet Father Benedict, played by Patrick Robinson. After fans said a heartfelt farewell to Father Bioka, it is believed that Father Benedict will be taking his place. Benedict is described as a holy man who has had a troubled past, sure to be interesting. There is no way to know for sure whose side he will be on. It is also noted that Father Benedict does not appear in the Saxon stories by Bernard Cornwell, which the series is based on. So who really knows which path this character will take? Father Benedict may be the next voice of reason for Uhtred, and he may keep him grounded throughout their final season. Father Benedict is played by Patrick Robinson. Patrick is a 57-year-old actor from London, best known for his role as Martin Ashford in the long-running medical drama series Casualty on the BBC. His latest work was playing Anthony Bryan in Sitting Limbo, a BBC One drama about the Windrush scandal, and in January 2021, he guest starred in Death in Paradise as TV host Garfield Tourney. Next up, let's meet Igdefu, played by Sonia Cassidy. You might know Sonia, the 34-year-old English actress from her roles in Lodge 49, Humans, The Paradise, and the police detective series Vera. Also, fun fact, she is a black belt in Taekwondo. In The Last Kingdom, she will play Igifu. Described as an intelligent and bright-eyed Saxon who arrives in Winchester, led by King Edward, played by Timothy Inn. Unlike Father Benedict, Igifu is a character in the Saxon stories. In the books, she becomes Edward's third wife after Elfled betrayed him. Even more interesting, she is an actual historical figure. In real life, Igifu is the daughter of Edward the Elder, King of Wessex, and wife Elfled. It would be interesting to watch her character develop in the already dark and twisted world. At last but not least, introducing Harry Gilby playing older Ethelstan. As fans remember, Ethelstan is the eldest son of Edward and in season 4 he is played by actor Caspar Griffiths. We leave him at the end of the fourth season, left in the hands of Uhtred who would train him to be a strong Saxon leader, as Ethelstan historically claimed victory at the Battle of Brunnebur in 937, where he defeated an alliance of the Scots, Danes and Vikings, and a united England. It will be interesting to see Uhtred potentially forming his character, though it's unlikely that Ethelstan will be crowned in the upcoming season, but that is something we can't know for sure. Fans have taken to Reddit to discuss whether these hugely significant events will be covered before the series ends. Season 5 is likely to focus heavily around Ethelstan's work with Uhtred as he gets ready to become the next great king of England. Due to the time skip, Ethelstan will now be played by Harry Gilby, the 19-year-old actor best known for his role as young J.R.R. Tolkien in the 2019 film Tolkien. He may be young, but don't count him out. 
This talented actor was also in the film Just Charlie and episodes of Casualty. More Last Kingdom updates. Some somber news for fans. It was announced that this season will be the last. Fans were disappointed to hear The Last Kingdom would be coming to an end earlier than expected. Season 5 being the last means the final books in Bernard Cornwell's series of novels, including last year's Warlord, will be left unadapted. There's no knowing how much or how little the showrunners will take from the novels, but that means this season will be absolutely epic as everything comes to head. Or so says director John East, who will survive, who will die, and who will take control. The cast of season 4 will return for the final season, releasing in 2022. The list includes Toby Gregbo, Ian Hart, Eliza Butterworth, Arnas Federevicus, Mark Rowley, Millie Brady, Timothy Eines, and many more. Recently released behind the scenes photos gives us a glimpse of some fan favorites back in action. Pictures of Alexander Draymond, David Schofield, and Joseph Milson dressed in wardrobe were recently circling the internet. How exciting to see our merry men back in action. Hopefully all of our favorites make it out alive, but that might be asking a little too much. We are in a war after all. Emily Cox is also confirmed to be returning as Uhtred's childhood friend turned nemesis Brita. In a recent exclusive first look, Brita's season 5 appearance has been revealed looking much different from season 4, after the character was last seen giving birth alone in the woods. How will this epic series end? Another question fans are asking is if they will see a unified England by the end of the show. The Last Kingdom has a number of overarching themes throughout, one of which is King Alfred's plight. He had always dreamed of a united England and made it his mission to secure ruling over the various kingdoms. But as fans know, Alfred sadly died at the end of the third season and it was down to Uhtred and the rest of Alfred's family to continue his legacy. In season 4, Uhtred came close to taking his family's castle back, but he was bested by Vidgar and unfortunately lost father Bioka in the process. After watching Uhtred go through so much for four seasons, will the show conclude with Uhtred winning back his castle? Will Uhtred finally take back his birthright? Let's talk about some fan theories, shall we? In the wake of the exciting news of a new season, Season, many theories started circulating. Will Uhtred join the Danes and claim Bevenberg in a shocking twist? Will Sigtricker kill Uhtred in Season 5? When we left Uhtred in Season 4, he was left wondering whether he would see Sigtricker or his daughter ever again. Since they struck a truce and Uhtred somewhat trusts Sigtricker, he may return to kill Uhtred and gain more status for himself. Fans also speculate, will Brita be redeemed or will she truly cause harm to Uhtred or those he holds dear? If she does, will Uhtred finally kill Brita? One can hope. Whoops, who said that? So to finish things off, what do you think of the new cast? What are your predictions for the new characters? What path will they take? Do you agree with any of the theories mentioned in this video? Who do you want to see come out on top? Has the show enticed you to read the rest of the series by Bernard Cornwell? Let us know in the comments. Since the series will not cover all the material in the Saxon stories, do you believe that England will be unified by the end of the show and Uhtred finally getting his sweet victory? Or will we end up with another disaster where the directors stray away from the storyline like this show, which must not be named Game of Thrones. Fans have shown a lot of trust in director Johnny, so our hopes will remain high. These epic characters deserve a proper send off. And with that, it wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.